The Morvan Estate has decided to be very proactive in protecting their historic ash trees, like this large one that you see behind me here, uh, in order to prevent the, uh, the eventual demise of these trees due to the emerald ash borer, which has not arrived here yet in central Virginia, uh, but is expected to very soon. Uh, unfortunately, trees typically are infested with emerald ash borer before it's discovered in a particular area. So uh, being proactive and applying a systemic insecticide like imidacloprid, which has been applied by uh, Bartlett, uh, is a very proactive step in, uh, in preventing uh, these trees from, from declining and dying. It would be very expensive to take one of these trees down compared to the uh, relatively small cost of treating one, uh, which would protect it for a, a two-year period. Now, Bartlett basically takes a uh, small metal probe and injects the imidacloprid chemical uh, into the root zone in a circle around the, uh, each tree, and it takes about five minutes, and uh, the cost of the chemical is about $40 per tree. Uh, comparatively, it can cost up to uh, $3,000 to uh, take a tree of this size down and haul it out on a property like this. Uh, in a more sensitive area, such as a university campus, such as University of Virginia, which also has a lot of large historic ash trees, the cost of uh, taking down an ash tree can uh, be somewhere between ten and twenty thousand dollars. So if you compare that to a hundred dollar uh, cost of treating that tree over two years, it's a it's a uh, it's sort of a no-brainer in terms of uh, protecting these trees. Not to mention the historic value of these trees in a setting like this, where you have a lot of uh, historic property associated with Thomas Jefferson and uh, and uh, the surrounding area has a lot of historic structures that, um, where the trees add a great deal to the, to the landscape and to the um, beauty that you can't really put a dollar value on.